On location now here at MIAA Football Media Day. We're in Overland Park, Kansas. I'm Joey McWilliams. I get to visit now with Brooke Bowles. He's the quarterback of the Central Missouri Mules. And Brooke, as you are a redshirt senior now, I know that last year was a big year. Now coming in, it was, it was your first year to just start all the way through for, for Central. You weren't a secret, I'm sure, to anybody, but you're definitely not a secret right now in your versatility. I, one of the leaders in the country, as a matter of fact, leading the country in total offense, passing yards, rushing yards, you're the complete package. Uh, versatility out there on the field. Talk about what it means to be able to, to play like that, uh, where you know you can be effective both throwing and running. I mean, well, first of all, I mean, it, it's, it all starts up front uh, with those big guys in the trenches. Uh, I mean, they protect me and they, they open up holes for our run game. We have two really good backs um, and they help open up the pass game. I mean, we had one that was uh, freshman of the year in the MIAA and the other one was probably right behind him. Um, yeah, we just two studs um, and they opened up the they opened up that pass game and I mean can't be done without the receivers either. Uh, they all do a great job of making me look good. I know I have some bad balls and they make me look really good by making some spectacular catches. Um, but yeah, we got, you know, tight end uh, Seth Bear, All-American, who's very good. I mean, he was the heart and soul of our offense, honestly. He, he was our workhorse. He was the guy that was getting us going when, uh, you know, we were down. But no, it was, uh, it was a good season last year. Um, just looking to build on it, obviously, from this um, going forward. But uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. I think you had a chance to mention every single player, so that's always good. When, when your quarterback is knows everyone and knows exactly, you know how, how you're taken care of out there on the field. You talked about your receivers, and it is a younger group coming in this season. And one of the things that that you mentioned uh, during your time on the podium uh, at the media day opportunity a little bit earlier was the fact that uh, you have a chance to work with those now, working on uh, different things. Talk about what you're working on with them right now. Well, a lot of stuff that we're working on right now um, is a lot with our timing um, and working on different concepts with our routes and stuff. Um, our offense is really big. Uh, we have a bunch of different pass plays and a bunch of different um, schemes, and a lot of our passing plays are option plays as well. Um, so they kind of got to know that if it's this look, they got to go this way instead of that way. Um, so it's just kind of getting those guys into that, uh, you know, that rhythm and kind of getting those guys more developed in our offense a little bit. But yeah, a lot of a lot of what we're working on right now is a lot of timing, um, getting just our rhythm down, um, and just getting stuff done a certain way that either how Coach Schmack, our offensive coordinator, wants it done, or possibly how I want a specific route run, just so that it works better with our timing and stuff like that. But that's a lot of what we're working on. One of the players you may not have to work on timing that much with is someone you mentioned freshman of the year in the, in the MIAA, Devontae Turner, coming off a fantastic season. It has to be a luxury having someone like that though in the backfield with you. Oh yeah, I mean it's always great, especially when you have, well, I mean, you got two guys like him and Kobe uh, back there. They're both just two, the two-headed monster in the backfield that really help us out. I mean, they, they do a great job of keeping defenses honest uh, with that run game. And like I said, it really opens up the pass game, especially when they're which they did a lot last year. So. Now, you look ahead to this season, mm -hmm. uh, another big season. You, you get one more shot at it, take one more final campaign. Talk about what it means to you then to head out on the field one more time. Uh, I mean, it's just everything. Um, I mean, this is my last go around. Um, I, obviously, the goal is national championship, um, and that's kind of real dear to me because both of my brother, or two of my older brothers, uh, won national championships. One was actually on this field right here, um, but yeah. So that's kind of a big deal for me is to you know get that ring and hopefully get that NYAA championship ring, and that's what we're playing on. All right. Well, it is a, a beautiful field. It's, yes, a, it it's a beautiful park. We're here at Children's Mercy Park in Overland Park, Kansas, with Brooke Bowles, the quarterback of the Central Missouri Mules. I'll say that right. The Central Missouri Mules. There's a difference. You know if you're from Missouri or not. If you say Missouri or Missouri, is, yeah. that, is that the case? What do you I don't say? Know. I, well, I'm from Nebraska, so okay, I never say Missouri, <laughs> but I've, I've heard it. I've definitely heard it both ways. Um, so, I mean, I'm not sure which one's technically right, but I, right. I say and, Missouri. And we're in Kansas now anyway, so yeah. it doesn't matter. Right? In Overland Park, <laughs> yeah. Kansas with Brooke Bowles. Uh, success to you this season, and uh, thank you again for watching here on MidwestSports.net. With Brooke Bowles, I'm Joey McWilliams. Keep watching us. More coverage of the MIAA Media Day throughout the week on our family of sites.